you, Jesus. Can you hear me? All right. Praise the Lord Jesus. I appreciate this overwhelming welcome. And thank you so much. But can we give Jesus the I am that I am, the King of glory, the, uh, the, 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 the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the soon coming King. Can we wave our hands to Jesus and give him all the shouts? Can you just scream for Jesus? Can you scream for Jesus? Can you scream for Jesus? Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! The Lord is good. And all the time. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so blessed. I feel so blessed to be here. I'm not here alone. I'm here with my best friend, my sweetheart. In person of Dr. Emanuela Mike Bamiloe. And I'm also here with um, two wonderful brothers from on Zion, Victor and Ezekiel. Yeah. While watching, while watching that drama, while watching that drama, and even being here generally, I would like to say that what I'm seeing is just, to me, is like the greater glory. Because the things, the kind of drama we did when, when we were in school, nothing compared to what I'm seeing now. Nothing compared to what I'm seeing now. I was, I was telling my wife, I said, this is amazing. Because I wish this can actually, I thank God is on YouTube. Because I was already saying that, how can this get to YouTube? I thank God is on YouTube. And I want to give an assignment to the drama group, if I'm permitted to do so. Can this be made into a short film? I'm put on YouTube also. I know it's a big task, and I know you're all busy, very busy. But if you can take up that challenge, because this is a sound message. And my belief that the whole world will watch this and be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. It's so good to be here. It's so good to be back home. I was you know, sharing earlier today how you know, God helped me so when I was in Bowen University and I was the drama director for two years from 2009 to 2011. And those two years of my life were the defining moments of my life. I remember when I had the vision. God just gave me that vision, an idea. So why can't you just make a film in this school? You can't just pass this school without building an altar for me in this school. And I, I didn't know what, I was so helpless, I didn't know who to share it with. And I went to meet Mommy Janet. I said, Mommy, I said, Mommy, I want to make a film in this school. And all of a sudden, she took up the task. And she said, yes, we can make the film. It's going to be a Bowen film. And she gathered everybody, all the chaplains came around to make it a reality. And for that, I am eternally grateful to you. I'm so grateful to you. I'm grateful to Bowen University for giving me that expression and for giving me that platform. But I want to say to you that whatever you're going to be in the future, it starts now. Whatever God will do in your life, the seed starts now. So I want to beg you, please. Start sowing. Start sowing that seed of your vision. Whatever passion you have, it doesn't have to be drama. Whatever passion you have, you should start now. Because I know from this school, because I'm not the only one doing amazing things out there. There are a lot of people doing great things out there, and they're from Bowen University. And there are still great people that will still come out of this university in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want to introduce the drama. The title of the movie you're about to watch, I'm sure you've all watched, many of you have watched the film, is Recitation. But as you watch that film, I don't want you to just watch the film or watch the story. Because behind that story, there is something that God wants to do in your life. So don't just watch the story. There's a message that God has 
for you. And I want you to grab that message before you leave this place. All right? Presentation was shot at um, the movie. The location of the movie was shot at Orita Mefa Baptist Modern School. I don't know whether there are some OBMS students in the house. God bless Orita Mefa. <laughs> so it was shot at Orita Mefa Baptist Modern School. And I resonate so much with that film because it was particularly shot in my class when I was in SS1. My SS1 class, I made sure because when the story was written, we had struggles on who will, which school we are going to shoot the film. We went to different schools asking for support. We want to shoot in your school. They said no. So the road was just blocking different schools. Different schools were going, they were saying no. Until God just told me, he said, I gave you a message. Why can't you go back to your alma mater and shoot that film there? So I went to Orita Mefa. As soon as I got to Orita Mefa, the door was just opened. They said, we've been waiting for you. You have to come back and shoot the film. And we shot the film there. And one of the things I made sure I did was that I shot it in my class when I was in SS1, in my SS1 class. I also made sure the main actor was sitting on my seat. The reason is because I had the same struggle that the main character had, testimony. The same academic challenge that I felt I couldn't do it again. I was almost giving up on myself until Jesus Christ came through for me. So as you watch that film, I don't want you to just watch a story. Watch it with the realization and with the understanding that whatever you are passing through, Jesus Christ is here to come through for you. And that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to shout seven powerful hallelujahs before I, uh, after that I'm going to step out of the stage and the movie will start. So can you stand up to shout this hallelujah to Jesus, the King of Kings? Number one, hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Number two, hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Number three, hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Number four, hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Number five, hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Number six, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Now the last hallelujah is to the King of kings, is to the Lord of lords, is to the I am that I am, is to the ancient of days, the land of the tribe of Judah, the one who will make you leap to greatness. You are shouting the hallelujah to the one who will raise you up from the dust and make you sit with kings. You are shouting the hallelujah to the one who will change your position and take you to greatness. The one who can change your circumstances in a twinkling of an eye. You are shouting hallelujah to the one who will part the seas for you. Shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now close your eyes. Can you just close your eyes and begin to just talk to Jesus and say, Jesus, speak to me personally. I invite you today as I watch this film, and I don't just want to watch the film for watching's sake. I don't want to watch the film to, get to, to be entertained. No, I want to watch this film receiving life. That there will be a change of circumstances, change of situation, change of position in my life. For in Jesus' name we pray. Praise Jesus. God bless you as you sit down and watch. Can we begin to speak in the spirit as you are coming out? And can you begin to speak in the spirit? Can the chaplains, can the chaplains please come outside? I would appreciate if the chaplains can come. If I appreciate if our daddies and mommies, if you can come outside. If our daddies and mommies can come outside. Ella, you can tell you, propose Jesus is here. Jesus is here. He can restore you. He can revive you. No matter what people say is impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. If you have been struggling academically, you can bring your case to Jesus and say, Jesus, I am touching the hem of your garment. Jesus, 
Mekos Katata, Repakeli Kata, Ye Pasalia, Meleko Tokota, Jelipa Lakaya. I surrender my heart. All Jesus wants is for you to surrender your heart to Him. All Jesus wants is for you to surrender everything to Him. Can you tell Jesus, I am ready to surrender my heart to you? I'm ready to give my heart to you. Make it Valendaya, Maka Prata, Yekoska. Jesus is here. Reteli, Malakota, Male, Malekota, Jefeta, Palosia, Repata Sete, Rekayatata, Rekayatata, Matala Baye, Yeketele Basco, La Pratosie, Make it Valet, Yekata, Asemie, Yikala Basketele, Yikaya. Meliata Bakota, Melia Bretesaya, Bakonukaya, Jesus is here, Lepa Kandeye, Mela Kutata, Mela Kutata, Talia Bakose, Makataya, Yepa Dosaya, Yepa Dosa, Balekaye, 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 Yepe, Prokokoto, Basta Patanaga, Lepa Lata, Lepa Lata, Devota,
Jesus. Raise your two hands to Jesus. You're about to shout to Jesus. Look, you're not shouting to me. You're not shouting to anybody here. You are making a declaration to Jesus. And you are telling the devil who has tormented you for so long, who has bullied you for so long. You are telling the devil. And you are making a declaration to Jesus that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So this is how we are going to say it. I will say it repeat after me. I will say it, you will repeat after me. I will go like that. Now you say, I can do all this through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all this through Christ that strengthens me. I can live a holy life through Christ that strengthens me. I can be a shining star through Christ that strengthens me. I can forgive through Christ that strengthens me. I can be a Jesus child through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Can you begin to speak in the spirit again? Belly tabaya. In the light of that confession, begin to speak in the spirit. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to him and they are saved. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. The name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, Rabatakaya, Zekadele Prokoya, Malatebe, Jepalekade. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yekatekade, Malaka, Raprakote. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yekatekade, Pakola. You have not surrendered to Jesus. This is the time to just raise your hands to Jesus. I say, Jesus, I surrender to you. They have been preaching on this altar for a long time. I have been in this school for a long time. But today, I surrender to you completely. And I'm holding on to your word that I will be successful. I will live a holy life. I surrender to you in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Briefly, we have our fathers and our mother to just say what well, decree a word over their life. Then we will shout seven powerful hallelujah. Believing that Jesus Christ has done it. Starting from. Okay. All right. All right. So. Yes, sir. So I have had to to you, sir, to say what about your life. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can we have a silence? I want you to lift up your two hands. The Bible says, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. After four days, they thought it was finished for Lazarus. But the resurrection and the life came through for him. So tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of eternal covenant, everywhere they have written you off, everywhere, every form that you have felt been limited, every barrier, every order, David said, by my God, I can scale over a wall. So in the mighty name of Jesus, everything that is standing before you like a wall, everything standing before you like a mountain, the Bible says you will say to that mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and it shall be so if you do not doubt. So tonight we command such mountain, every mountain of sickness, every mountain of family limitation, every mountain of nightmare, every mountain of dryness, academic dryness, every mountain of poverty from your ancestral lineage today every mountain all kind of mountain we command you right now in the name of jesus begin to skip like ram in the life of this world and begin to move now in the mighty name of jesus when israel left egypt the house of Jacob from the people of a strange tongue, Israel became a sanctuary. And Jacob became his dominion. And the sea saw them and fled. Tonight, everything that has pursued you, the one that pursued you to Bowen campus, today, this moment, they are skipping now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every mountain of addiction, every mountain of limitation, whatever name, every mountain of sickness that has defied medical solution, that has limited your activity, that has limited your progress tonight, that mountain is lifted. In the name of Jesus. If the Son set you free, indeed you are free. So go forth in the liberty of the Son of God. Go forth in the liberty of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that has created shame for you, tonight receive a new name. Tonight I prophesy, wherever you have been abandoned, you shall be married. Whatever you have been forsaken, you shall be remembered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that has stagnated you thus far, today we command a shift. Today we command a movement. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe the Lord is shifting your level, celebrate the Lord. 
you can make a better shout if you believe the Lord is shifting your level. If you believe the Lord is shifting your level. If you believe that from tonight, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens. Through Christ who strengthens. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Please don't go to your seat. Don't go to your seat. Please don't go to your seat. Hallelujah. Some of you, your dealing will not stop here. The Spirit will still follow you to your hall of residence. And it will continue to deal with you. Do you know what? I had the cause to go and use myself in my office. And I peeped through the windows. And I see guys walking about. And I shook my head. Several years ago, somebody picked his destiny on this same campus. And you have the God to still be strolling around. When God is visiting lives and placing your future in your hands, are strolling about. <laughs> you see, the usher came, they said, the security are not doing anything. The Holy Spirit just told me, leave them. Let anybody just do anything. <laughs> because... There's nothing God can do. It's your choice. It's your choice. So please, I want to plead with you, don't be in a hurry to go. Even if you have registered your name with our counselors in the past, or you know that something has brought you here, we are going to do our best under God to do everything we can. By the time we get your name, get your data, to schedule time. Somebody helped us. So you have to be heard. God is helping you already. Then you need to be heard. So please just file out. They may have to take you to the back of the uh, chapel on the interlocking ties if this other side will not contain you. Make sure somebody attend to you and you get your name down. Just in a simple time. The exact thing you are trusting God for, you have trusted God that have brought you forward. So that subsequently after the conference, we can begin to deal with you. And the Lord will raise you up. In the name of Jesus. So from the right, from the left, can we begin to go? From the right, from the left. Except you want to go and pick your phone or you want to pick a bag or something. You know, you are not missing anything any longer uh, by going out. We are about to round up. All right, praise God. Please, I don't want the Mike Bami lawyers to still go. Please, can you still remain here? Very briefly, all of us who are there, can we stretch forth our hands to him and the wife? And he's representing the entire Mount Zion faith ministry. Now, I remember in the early 80s, when Mount Zion was going about with state drama, nobody ever knew that a day like this will come, that the seed of the righteous, you know, will still be on this campus. Can you please stretch forth your hand and prophesy to his own generation? His father reproduced himself in him. We read from his prophet, he has two daughters. The seed of the righteous shall be mighty upon the heart. That the seed of the righteous shall be mighty. That the hand of the Lord will come upon them afresh. That the glory of the Lord will keep shining over their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prophesy, speak out. You have ministered to us. They deserve to be ministered to. Prophesy, speak forth into their future, into their family. As they move about our country, the nations of the earth, that the hand of the Lord will undertake for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we have a seat as we celebrate the Lord? Thank you very much.